Hello friends, today I am going to solve lead code problem number 433, minimum genetic mutation. So we are given 8 character long string, uh, which is a gene, and then uh, we could choose from A, C, Z, and T. So four of these characters to form a gene, which is an 8 character long. We are given a start gene, an end gene, and uh, an area of gene. Uh, bank which consists of all the valid mutations so we need to find the total number of mutations to reach from start to end um, and all those mutations would be valid mutations and uh, we are also said that the start gene may be or may not be in the bank and the end gene is in the bank and the next thing is that if engine is not in the bank, that means that we are not able to reach the mutation. So we just return minus one here. Now, one thing to um, keep in mind, which is not actually given in this um, problem statement, is that a mutation is when there is a difference of uh, one character in a gene. So here, this is a gene and this is another gene. And the character different here is T. Um, uh, so that is only one character difference, right? So that is one mutation. So basically the problem um, comes down to finding the mute the gene which is only one character difference and then if that is the case then we need to find the minimum number of mutations so uh, we are actually using bfs because minimum number means we are always looking for the shortest path and bfs gives us the shortest path dfs gives us the longest path but the bfs is the shortest path and DFS may be um, faster. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. But yeah. So for this problem, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first gonna calculate, find each, um, find uh, the character difference for. Um, okay, let me just start writing the code. So what we'll need, so first of all in BFS, what do we need? We need a Q, right? So let me define a Q. And now uh, we need to find a mutation. Um, so for that mutation, I'm just gonna create a new function here so that my code is managed um, and we need to check for each of the character so for each of the characters we check um, if they are not equal then we increase the difference count I'm just going to say count equals to zero and we are going to increase the difference count if the count is greater than equals to two which means that there are more than two uh, character differences that is not a mutation so we return a false else uh, we are going to return true and now uh, for the bfs i'm just i'm gonna start with my uh, base uh, like by insert by queuing um the start gene so dot um I'm going to queue starts in as well as the number of mutations. So for the start, there is zero mutation, right? Um, so I'm going to queue that. Also, I need a visited um, set. Keep track of all the, uh, all the mutations that are 
being visited because if not then we might end up in a loop so suppose i start with this i uh, push this in into my queue then i uh, i traverse uh, the next mutation i found is this one which is one character difference the next one i find is this one which is one character difference in the bank now for this one there are this is also one character difference and this is also one character difference right but we do not want to go back to this because then we'll be stuck in a loop um so that is why we need a visited list so here i am gonna insert the start gene to my list and now while queue the length while the length of the queue is not equals to zero i'm gonna um, shift i'm gonna pop the queue and check if this um, value in the queue is equals to the end chain so let um, gene and m equals to shift if gene is equals to end which meant that we have reached the end we return our um, um, steps to reach the mutation if not then we need to find um, mutation for this chain so for each so we need to uh, traverse through each of the elements in the bank and uh, and check again we need to check if vis right visited dot has if it has this gene then we just we just continue if not then let um is mutation is mutation equals to mutation gene and then bank the character bank and now if it is a mutation then i'm gonna push it to my queue mm. i also need to push the number of mutations so i'm adding one each time and then i add this value to my visited list a visited set um sorry i add it here because the next time again if i don't add it here the what happens is i'm looking for suppose i'm looking for a visited i'm um, suppose i'm looking for mutation for this one right so i check for each of the elements i start from i equals to zero this is zero character distance so i return a false um and then this is one character different difference right so i return true and then uh, it's added to my queue but if in case i didn't have this so uh, i check for this one well well i guess we could have that but but okay no problem so yeah so okay so now we have added um it to the visited list now what we are gonna see is so this this will just continue looping so if we did not find any of the so now we added um our elements mutations to the queue and we are uh, looking for each of the elements in the queue but in the end if none of the mutations 
is equals to the end which means that we cannot reach the end chain that is when we return minus one let's run our code okay Is this again? Easy tip. Okay. We need a set object. Right, let's submit this. Cool.